Hah? Ayo sini dua. Eh. Hey. Apa? Tunggu. Ye, yeah, marah-marah sopan banget sih naruh sepedanya. Banting dong sekalian. Ini aku tidak berurusan sama perempuan. Aku tidak takut. Oh ya? Mm -mm. Yakin? Sini. Ya udah, ayo. Sini. Ayo, berani ya. Siap. Satu, dua, tiga, shoot. Hush. Ah, ini menang dong. Emang iya? <laughs> ini sama ini. Menang inilah. Oh iya. Hmm. Hah? Ya kan? Huh. Aku tuh gak tahu ya apa mau kamu. Ya. Lontong. Aku mencintaimu, Itung. Tapi apa yang kamu lakukan dengan laki-laki yang gak bisa? Ya. Yeah. Gak bisa apa? Gak bisa. Gak bisa apa? Jawab. Masak air. Cut, 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 cut. Cut galon, Oke, okay. you guys are hearing each other, tapi you're not listening. Really listen to one another. I know, right? That, iya kan? Agak sedikit sih, gue setuju sama lu. So, give the chance, that momentum, that if one dialogue is delivered, the other listens and processes it, and then deliver the other dialogue back. Oh, see? Listen. Yeah. You have to listen to him, you know why? To, to him. Because. He's well, the director. He's <laughs> you listen That's to him. the director, but look who's beside Stray. Oh, no. oh my goodness. Oh, hey. Oh. This is amazing, guys. First of all, we have to introduce to you before we welcome you to our program who it is right here beside me. This is Martino Leo, hey. and he has recently, uh, congratulations by the way, on the recent award that you got. You. But um, let's shift this conversation yeah. over there so we can hang out and chat a little bit. Can you carry him? Yeah, I will. He's kind of heavy. More than happy to carry him. All right. Come on, buddy. Big chunky. Where yeah, should I sit? Waka waka, Leo. Lihat, lihat, bangun kalian. Berdiri dan lawan. All right, everyone. Welcome back to a very special episode of Buddy Talk with me, Paul Palelli. We have Shafira here in the house. We have yeah. Stray. And we have Bebo in the Buds. Hey, Good. I always do the best. Now, we... Unfortunately, very sadly and pathetically, tried to impersonate a scene <laughs> from the latest film, Vengeance is Mine, All Others Pay Cash, released last year. It was a big hit in Indonesia. Yeah. Here, we called it Seperti Dendam Rindu Harus Dibayar Tuntas. Yeah. Now, Bas. the movie itself won multiple awards. One of them was Pemeran Utama Pria Terbaik at the Indonesian Film Festival, the one and only Martino Leo. Hey, Leo! Thanks, Oh, yeah, make yourself at home straight, take off your shoes. Biar sopan, ya. Wow. So, first of all, congratulations Thank on you. the award. Um, it's very prestigious. Uh, you beat out some big names, didn't you? Uh, there was Oka, there yeah. was um, Vino, Vino Bastian mm -hmm. in the same category. What did it feel like? Was it a lot of pressure? Uh, I've always had the saying that if you ever win, if you ever want anything, the only moments of when you are the victor is when you accept the award. Yeah. Once you're off that stage, you're all, already a competitor again. Wow, so, yeah. wow. Mamba mentality. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so you didn't, but not much celebration. Not much celebration. I mean, me and the wife, we went out to Gultik. We had like oh, a really? small dinner. <laughs> That's and then after that, we went back straight Loki to bed. Loki celebrations yeah. Yeah, Loki. still memorable. Wow. Yeah. You like to stay pretty grounded. Yeah. yeah. This doesn't get to your head. No, not at all. Oh, wow. <laughs> So were you nervous though? I mean, did you think you had a, a chance of winning? I mean, those were some, I mentioned a couple of the names, but yeah. this was a category that's filled with stars. I was a bit nervous, but I just left it up to the universe. No expectations. No expectations. I remember I was no. interviewing him yep. on the red carpet of Festival for Indonesia. Yeah. Yeah, and he was like, yeah, I've been nominated. And yeah. wish you luck. Yes, of course. The most important thing is I, I would like to enjoy all the festival, right? Yeah. You said that. Yeah. And you just you, you're not just enjoying, but you celebrate something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, most important thing is we get some good pick after this festival because. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, let's talk a little bit more about um, your recent success here. This is a film that was very unique. It caught the attention of many uh, oh. people, not just in Indonesia but yeah. around the world as well. Yeah. It had yeah. international acclaim. But this film was very unique and different in its own way. Yeah. From the title to the oh. concept, yeah. from the dialogue. And it's yeah. from the, uh, the, the, the books. Correct. Actually. Yeah. So what was the most challenging? There was a lot of challenging aspects to this film. What was the most challenging for you? Uh, the most challenging aspects for me was to keep the characters' battles 
inside, mm -hmm. okay? And, and just let it grow organically throughout my body, you know? Okay. Like, he has this condition, medical condition, but it was not more, it was not a medical condition. It was more of a psychological condition. Okay. It, it led him to be an, an impotent guy. Right, so he yeah. had a problem with yeah. impotency, yeah. and this is, and it turns out that it's a psychological yeah. thing. Yeah. But is that difficult for you to prepare for your role? Because this is a mindset that you have to be in. You have to imagine being this guy. It must have been difficult. It was difficult at first, but once you got like the hang of it, it was just smooth sailing. That's <laughs> why he won the award. I, I, I read the book before, oh. uh, long before the, 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 the film is released. That's long before I know that uh, the director and mm. the production house want to make this movie. And mm. once I know, I was like, whoa, this movie is quite controversial yeah. because of the di because of the, the topic, of the topic. Anything, yeah. the dialogue, yeah. the scene. Oh my God, I can yeah. still uh, I can still imagine what I had in mm. mind when I wrote uh, the book. So, mm. what is your consideration to take this role? Because it's it's not easy. It's not easy character. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a regular guy, but it's not regular. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, the perfect analogy to it is I always saw... I, I try to see the story as an onion, and you have to, like, peel ah, its layers. Layer and then layer, once, right. once, once you get to the core, it's all about... Um, the misuse of power. <laughs> And if, if, if you understand that and how it comes out, mm -hmm. then it just wow. goes. Do you, feel, <laughs> do you feel that the viewers got the message you're trying to convey through I, I hope so. <laughs> you should the be. book is so weird. It's so yeah. weird. It's so weird. The applause, like back yeah. and forth. Mm. Like it's twisting your mind, mind playing with your imagination yep. and your, I don't know, it's like triggering your emotions. Mm. It's written by Eko Kurniawan. Mm. We know him. Mm -hmm. Of course, he's so famous. What was the weirdest experience you ever had? Speaking of weird. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of weird. I mean, during this weirdest. reading or the uh, reading process or get oh. into the character. <laughs> I don't know if I could say it, but... <laughs> yeah, you can. We can edit it out. So <laughs> uh, pulling down your pants in front of Christine Hakim. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, okay. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And that was in the film? That? that was in the yes. film. And, and you have to, like, constantly apologize in between takes. Okay, cut. Maaf, ibu. Maaf, ibu. Maaf, ibu. Can't, remember, can't forget who, where you are. Okay? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Did they, um, wait, first of all, before we go to the next question, let's do a buddy challenge. Oh, wow. Let's do a rapid, oh, wow. rapid question. Rapid fire. Rapid, rapid fire questions. Okay, yeah. here we go. You have to choose without thinking, seperti dendam rindu harus dibayar, tuntas, or the big four. Oh. Wow. Oh. Uh, Big Four is hot right now. Yeah. Uh, oh. Top 10 viewers streaming, something like that in Indonesia. Yeah. I would have to say. <laughs> I can't. Uh, <laughs> not Yo, this should be a drinking game, bro. <laughs> 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 You'll just drink. Just say, <laughs> that's, why, that's why it's called uh, rapid questions, yeah, yeah. not easy questions. Uh, oh. Dunup. I'll just say Dunup. Okay. Yeah. How come? Why, why, no, I want to know why was it a tough choice for you? Why is it such a tough choice for you? Because in Dundam, I, uh, I had the chance to channel all of channel out all of my anger yeah. but in big four i had the chance to really have fun ah okay. all right. i had tons of fun in fair big enough four. just like all this all the actions yeah there. good answer yeah. Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> okay you guys the next one all right so edwin or timo chahayanto uh, regarding to directing directing edwin edwin yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, what was the experience like for you if you could describe it in a few short words um He's one of those guys that uh, doesn't tell you what he wants. You you kind of have to like read it from him. Isn't that more difficult? It is, and I like challenges. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. He's one of those guys that can you make it more? Um, yeah, like that. Also, he doesn't use words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. Okay, okay, I'll try that. Is, do you think he's doing that on purpose? I think he is. In order for you to find yeah. yourself yeah. instead of a I director, there's yeah. two types of director. I know that. Yeah. There's one that will tell you exactly how they want it, yeah. so it'll mm -hmm. be to the expectation. Yeah. There's some that want and you to find you it yourself so that explore. you can, yeah. you can yeah. play yeah. it better. Give it yeah. like super huge space so you yeah. can create your own character. Yes. Yeah. That's why that's why he knows what we were doing wrong just now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. Reza Rahadian or Abimana? Abimana. Yeah? Abimana. Amazing action star. Here. Abimana. Why is that? I just listened to him. Okay. Mentor. Yeah, mentor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good guy? Right. Good guy. Yeah. I can already see that. Okay. Yeah. Can, uh, I cannot imagine him in like a really bad guy role. 
Mm. Yeah. yeah. Right? I know. We're actually pretty close. Uh, just recently, he cooked um, sop con roll, oh. and he said, what are you doing? I'll come over there and get you some. Oh, so wow. Some to <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, nice guy. There you yeah. go. Yeah, In real life, nice too. We should, we, should, we should invite him to cook? with the family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's always He's always going over. Yeah. Oh, is that right? The daughter, yes. Oh, yeah. family man. Okay. Fun, right? I notice a lot of your stories end in food. Yeah. Like food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's right. have, uh, uh, asking a few questions. Yeah. Um, is there any lesson that you got uh, shooting with, uh, either way, as a director or any other actor? What oh. kind of lesson that you, uh, memorable lessons that you got? Most memorable lesson mm -hmm. is when. Actually, it wasn't shooting. I wasn't shooting at all. It was with uh, when we went out to Locarno with uh, the Sporty Dendam team, mm -hmm. and we presented it there. And the head of the director of the whole festival, his name is Gian, uh, mm. Gian something. Uh, he spoke with. It was just me, Reza, uh -huh. and him. Mm. Okay. We were outside because the inside was like too many people. I, I, I don't like. Crowds. I okay. really don't like okay. crowds. But so I went out, as I went out, he went out, and he actually spoke to us. And you know, in life, there are some moments that you will remember for the rest of your life. And, and it's not like big events. Mainly, it's more, mostly it's just like one or two minutes of them. And this is one of those one or two minutes that I will remember. Oh. Well, I did. He said that to us, and oh, he said that to wow. you, to us, to me. I thought even you should remember oh, being no, 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 no. there. Wow! And I was like, dude, all right, you're a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get your WhatsApp okay. real quick. Hey, I got one more rapid fire question. What? Actor or singer? Yeah. Actor. <laughs> okay. I, I, you guys will find out why we're gonna ask why I asked that rapid <laughs> question Thanks, after the break. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna find out a little more, explore Surprise. the other side of Leo. When we return, though, we'll be right back with more here on Buddy Talk. Welcome back to Buddy Talk with me, Martin Olio, still with our host, Paul, Shafira, yeah. and my new buddy, Straight. Hey, all right, actor slash host. So, no, no, no. You got are you an animal person, Leo? Huh? I am, yeah. Dogs, cats. Dogs, cats, birds. Uh, oh, nice. Okay, there you yeah. go. Straight can always tell when somebody likes it. I know. Him. <laughs> so, it was quite easy for you to get our name correctly, but I may not be able to do the same because mm. You are known as Martino Leo, but your mm. actual full name is... I don't want to screw this up. Guiliano? Guiliano. Guiliano. Oh, it's an M, not an M. Guiliano. Wait, is it Italian? Yeah. What's the background there? What, my race? Like, what, what's Indonesian. the background? Full Indonesian. I have what, no what, Italian like, blood in me. Your parents chose a very Italian-sounding person. <laughs> yeah. Where's that from? <clears throat> I don't know, from a movie, I guess. Wow. <laughs> it's very unique because, um, I, yeah, I've, I've had a flair, friends, I mean, you've heard of Guillermo oh, or Giuliano, yeah. but those are very Italian. Very Italian. Italian. Yeah, it's very, very unique. Italian. How come you don't go by your first name? Uh, it's too long. Oh, okay. And people mispronounce it. Yeah. 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 Or, or they just shorten it. The coffee shop. Oh. They just shorten it and make it gui. And I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the coffee shop, they'll be writing never, it on the... Never, never, <laughs> right. Oh, my God. Alright, so... Uh-oh, someone's here. Gotta take a little break here. Okay. Ah! C-Jack! Do you order anything, Paul? Hi. Or B-Boy? B-Boy? You, you order something? something? Is it food? Is it seafood? Oh, no, seafood, okay. Where is here? Is it C-Send? Yes. C-Send. Yes. Oh! Mike? Hi. Oh, matching colors! Oh, it's a match. Yes, yes. Thank wow. you. You're very okay. matching, too. <laughs> <laughs> this? Yes. For Guilio. Oh, okay. We oh, okay. okay. Yes, go ahead. It's from C Jack. Thank you, C Jack. Do you want to stay? Or? Oh, you want to mention his full name? No, he doesn't oh. talk, so he's not going to talk. All right, thank you, C Jack. It's on the way. <laughs> it's on the way. Here, your tip. Uh, Here's your tip, my friend. Double. Bye. Double. Oh, he likes it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, good friend, C Jack always brings surprises for our guests. You're going to have to open it in Whoa. front of us and show us right. what it is. 
Ooh. 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 Oh, okay. Ooh, it's danger. Nice. Watch out. <laughs> oh. So, it's, it's a knife. Luckily, yep. it doesn't look like it can hurt anyone, hopefully. No, of course not. <laughs> so, what is it with you and uh, knives? I've always thought of the early blacksmith as magicians. You know? Oh. Okay, why? They, they have the power to turn dirt into metal. Uh -huh. uh, so, so, um, and I'm also a bladesmith. I'm also a bladesmith. I, I make my own knives. So you, you, this is okay. Just to give a little background here, <laughs> yeah. you're quite, uh, yeah, you're very fascinated with yeah. blades. Ever since how, how old were you? Ever since how old was I? Very little. A kid. Very little. Well, but I actually took up the hobby of bladesmithing in the year 2000. 14? Okay, oh. so about eight years ago, yeah. you started and bladesmithing. You went for it, training program. Yeah, I, oh. I, I, I followed this course, and it was made with, from Kang Dadan, his name, okay. Kang Dadan, and he's an actual bladesmith hmm. with uh, about 28 years of experience, but added up till now, so about 30-ish years experience. So not only are you busy acting, you're busy bladesmithing and making knives, but earlier, before our, the end of our last segment, I asked if you prefer to be an actor and a singer, mm. or a singer. That's because you actually do have a background in singing. In fact, you contributed to the original soundtrack for yeah. Adapa Dengan Cinta Dua, is that correct? Yeah. How, what, 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 what is it? Is this something else that you kind of... Yeah. Is this also a passion that you have and you decided to explore? It one well, well, music to me is more of an escape. So when I have like too much on my mind, then I'll just write something or make You write your own stuff, stuff then? Yeah, I do. Wow, okay. I never publish anything because... Really? I, Why is that? Mm, it's still too personal. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, if it's what, now that I know the reason, if it's something you used to escape, you don't necessarily want to share exactly. it with the rest of the world. Yeah. You That's your own time. Yeah. That's right. Because once you share it to the public, then it becomes the public's. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah. And people can, like, it sucks or yeah. say something. Yeah. Criticize. So, how did Adapa Dengan Cinta Dua come up with the Meli Guswa? Um, Because that's certainly exposing then, you. Yeah. yeah. Back then, Tech Meli opened this audition and I said, well, if this is if this is for me then it's gonna be for me so oh, wow. i just, you just wanted to you try, just try it and then try it. you got it what was got it, it. Yeah. Were, you, were you happy with it you... i was happy yeah. with it yeah i mean it opened up the doors for me to become an actor it, before yeah. before you do the acting you, uh I, I first started acting in 2005 right okay but then i stopped for a while yeah. I, I i learned the crew life mm -hmm. i became oh. a crew uh, i was lighting really scene. yeah Oh, I love stories. Like, really? that's amazing. Okay. Yeah, and, for a uh, movie, movie production? No, no, no. For, for TV production. Oh, okay. So I went for Sinatron. Yeah. Oh, okay. And after that, oh. I learned what I need to learn. Slowly went up. Uh, oh, wow. I became a oh, camera personnel. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and then after that. So you know how to man, uh, operate this thing? Mm. Basically. Watch out, guys. It's coming for your jobs. <laughs> Basically. I mean, it's... it's Technology has gone yeah. up. Yeah, you need to retrain. Right? Well, so let me let me ask you this then. I've always been uh, I'm always a firm believer that if you want to work in an industry, you have to learn more than just your role. Yeah. How important was that experience in making you what you are today? That you know oh, what happens behind the cameras important. and all of these. Things? It's very important. Why is that? Because you know how tired they are. Yeah. And you can't complain. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, you're an actor and. Uh, as an actor, you feel tired, but that's just because you're tired of not doing anything. Exactly. Then just do We're something. waiting. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Because you're waiting. And well, I when when I get a job, as a live team, as, as yeah, as a crew, you have to use your mind. You have to use your physics. You have to use everything. Yeah. Oh. And then you realize all the time you've been waiting, somebody's been working all yeah, the time. That's waiting. why you're waiting. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a moment to appreciate <laughs> our camera. Yeah. And crew. We love you guys. Don't worry, yeah, Leo's not coming for your job. No, Leo's is in the house. <laughs> yeah. You want to challenge I do. <laughs> That's where, lucky for us, we're up for another buddy challenge. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. So we're now going to ask you to rehash that particular project, that song that but you But we don't want to make it easy. Yes. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you have to... <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we, uh, you guys got the song set up? Oh, here we go, all right. Grace us with your presence. Oh. 
been a while, so I'm a little bit rusty. <laughs> Bear with me. Ratusan purna berlalu Sendirian aku tanpa cinta Tak pernah ada cinta yang lain Hatiku terbuka hanya untukmu Tuhai cinta enggan menawar rasa Dan gelombang maramu terlalu berlebih Oh my goodness! What a wonderful voice! Oh Remember Paul when, when, we, when we spoke about uh, Hollywood actors yes. in Korea? Yes. Bollywood. Basically, actors, not, it's, it's not just... It's no, the they usually, yeah. they, can sing, they have to can sing their dance. own parts. They can do everything. Correct. So basically, yes, that that makes them become an, you know, a total whole package. complete and total package. I want to take you back a little bit right. to your childhood days. Now, yeah. we heard, yeah. and I have to, like, ask twice, is this, like is this actual fact? It. Was that, yeah. you know, when people grew up, you had sometimes just bullying in school. Yeah. yeah. We heard that you were actually the bully, and that came from you. That came from me, but but in my defense, I was bullied first. Okay. Oh. And then I became the bully. So I so I asked um, I asked the reason, right? Because I was like, uh. who would just come out and say I was used to be a bully? Uh. So I figured perhaps it was a defense mechanism, like a preemptive strike, or tell me more. Like, uh, what was the background? What was it like for you in school? Um, what would you get bullied for, for example? For being different. I mean. That, I used to go to school uh, in in the U.S. and mm. I looked like a Mexican kid. Yeah. yeah. I looked like a Mexican kid, but I hung out with the blacks and the Asians, and you're, yeah. which is me, my people. They didn't like it. So oh. I was I was bullied by um, Mexican. I was bullied by Asians. Because bullied... you belong to nothing. Yeah, because. Actually, I can I can I can relate. Yes, yeah. because I I don't know when you I used to I, when I first moved abroad. It was in the uh, late '80s, early '90s, mm. and back then, and I lived on the East Coast. Yeah. I don't know about you. In the East Coast, there oh, wasn't a lot of Asians. All the Asians were in the West Coast, so they could go home to their home countries uh. Uh, often. So I didn't get along with the Asian community because there wasn't mm. that big at the time, and mm. Asians didn't really mingle with yeah. each other. But I didn't look like what the normal the natives look mm. like, so. I wouldn't get accepted in any of the, yeah. of the groups, but I would also be part of every group as well. So it was a very confusing time as well. Um, so the way you dealt with it is you got bullied, you would bully them right back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just kind of stick up for yourself. An eye for an eye, man. Oh, <laughs> that yeah. explains the, the uh, blacksmith uh, <laughs> hobby. Nice. <laughs> the nice yeah. hobby. Love that. Okay, so. Right. Oh, yeah. He, and yeah. He also, um, we heard it, and uh, that you, you, uh, you, Think about um, acting or being an actress mm -hmm. is a form of therapy. Yeah, it, it is a form of therapy because we all have to go through certain events that in life that makes you like kind of wonder, what if I back then if I did this would it have another outcome yeah. or if I if I had said another thing mm. would it make things better or, you know, oh, those you, kind you, of things. Do you reflect yeah. on the regrets, the regrets that in, in my life that I had. So, uh, different roles have different experiences that I can channel my regrets through them. Oh. And I, I just use it as an opportunity to make amends. Yeah. To make up for something that yeah. you couldn't have yeah. done before. Yeah. Huh, that's an interesting, interesting way to look at things. Was. Okay, so uh, I want to ask you about a, a role that you played mm -hmm. before. Uh, Kadet 1947. Mm. Um, you, uh, you actually had a, a dream to be a Marine? Yeah, I really that? wanted to be in the military. Okay. I wanted to well, where, is that, where is that from? Like, where is that motiv the motivation um, or that, that want? I just love the idea of being brothers but not related. You know? Ah, okay. The camaraderie. Yeah, camaraderie. Nice. I love that. I love that idea. Seems like when we watch any kind of war films that have to do soldiers, it's like that's all they have is each other. Yeah. Thing, right? yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you guys take out of this as well because a lot of things that we covered in this episode, I think when it comes to the real you, yeah. you know what you value the most. Yeah. <laughs> that's what keeps you grounded. Thanks so much, Hi. Leo, for dropping by. Thank, Thank you. Congratulations once again. Thank you. On the award. And congratulations once again. Thank you. <laughs>
things. Here's to many more. Another project, exactly. Yes, and uh, yeah, feel free to stray, take Stray with you. We like to offer him to our guests if you like to bring him home for a few days. He seems a bit comfortable with you. Anyway, but that just about does it for this episode of Buddy Talk. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, we had a very special guest here today, Martino Leo, but we are out of time. Make sure you tune in every Saturday and Sunday night at 8 p.m. only on C Today for more Buddy Talk and more fun with us. On behalf of B-Boy and the Bud, Shafira, Stray, and Leo as well, my name is Paul Palelli signing off for now. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. B-Boy, take us home. <laughs>